Electricity illuminates our rooms with a flip of a switch, cools off our homes on hot days, and it's even present inside our bodies. Our cells use electricity to send signals throughout the body and to the brain, making it possible for us to move, think, and feel. But what happens when we receive electrical currents from outside of our bodies? From a jolt of static electricity after walking over a thick carpet to a massive discharge from a power line, what toll would these levels of electric shock have on your body? How much electric shock can the human body withstand before reaching lethal levels? Electric shock occurs when an electric current flows through the human body. Imagine plugging a toaster into the wall. The power cord is sending electricity from the power in the socket to the toaster, allowing it to heat up your piece of bread. During an electric shock, our bodies become human power cords. We take electricity in and expel it somewhere else, passing the energy onward. The ability to conduct electricity is one of the marvels of the human body, but just like with junk food, too much can be a very bad thing. How badly you get injured by electrical shock depends on a few different factors. Not only does the current level matter, but also how long your body receives the electricity as well as the path of the current through your body. Currents that start at the hand can pass from hand to hand, hand to arm, hand to foot, or hand to head. It can actually take a very little amount of current to injure or kill a human being if the duration is long enough or if the path of current passes through or is near vital organs. When you boil it down, current level measured in milliamps is determined by the voltage amount and the resistance of your body. So let's say you stick a fork in an electrical socket, and warning, please do not try this at home. The average domestic electrical outlet supplies approximately 120 volts. Any voltage ranging from 5 to 500 can result in a current level of 15 milliamps. This is the maximum current level a human can withstand before sustaining life-threatening injuries. Currents above 10 milliamps can paralyze or freeze muscles. When this freezing happens, you're no longer able to release a tool, wire, or other object. In fact, it may cause you to hold on even more tightly, resulting in longer exposure to the shocking current. What if you find yourself sitting in the infamous electric chair? These death machines can produce up to 2,000 volts. Any voltage ranging from 100 to 10,000 volts can result in a current level of 100 to 300 milliamps. At this level of electric shock, you'd feel extreme levels of pain, along with likely experiencing cardiac or respiratory arrest, arrhythmia, a seizure, and eventually death. There's a well-known story that Ben Franklin, while studying electricity, flew a kite with a key attached to it during a storm and lived to tell the tale. However, this likely wouldn't be possible as a single lightning bolt packs a serious punch. One bolt of lightning can contain up to 1 billion volts of electricity. This is well over the voltage range of 6,000 to 600,000 volts, resulting in an unbelievable current level of 6,000 milliamps. That's 20 times the electric chip. At this range, electric shock may directly cause death by paralysis of the breathing center in the brain, paralysis of the heart, or ventricular fibrillation, which is uncontrolled, extremely rapid twitching of the heart muscle. It's generally believed that ventricular fibrillation is the most common cause of death in electric shock. In the United States, there are approximately 1,000 deaths per year as a result of electrical injuries. There are also at least 30,000 non-fatal shock incidents per year. So if you're not interested in becoming human toast, make sure to keep an eye out for damaged or fraying cords at home, and definitely don't go fly a kite during a thunderstorm. Ready to learn more? Hit that subscribe button, and be sure to turn on notifications so that you don't miss an all-new episode of Fuzzy and Nuts.